Hello everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Review Lagoon and uh, we're going to take a few minutes here to look at the Asus Transformer running under the power of a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. Now there's plenty of videos showing how the tablet works and how it works with the docks, the docking station and all that sort of thing but I wanted an opportunity to show you guys what this guy looked like if you just plugged in a couple of over-the-counter basic Bluetooth items into it. First off, y'all, you can see I'm going to try to do as little camera work as possible here. As you can see, you have I have a full pointer attached to my mouse, so Honeycomb automatically knows you've got the mouse attached and is ready to serve you. And uh, we'll go down here and I'll hit the home button, and you can see it works. You can also navigate normally through your home screens with the mouse and you can use gestures too so for example you can see the pointers in the middle I'm gonna hold down the left mouse button and just swish one way or the other and uh, you can move screens that way so it does simulate the full uh, the full touch which is fantastic you can also of course go up click on your apps scroll through your apps um, just like you would before and you can launch and do everything that you want to do um, right here so let's take a look at Angry Birds of course you see I've still got a mouse pointer and something of interest I'm sure if you look down at my keyboard you'll notice it's a multimedia keyboard and you'll notice there's also a volume control knob here the volume control knob is mapped proper so you can actually control many of the basic features with just the straight up keyboard you don't even have to have the special ASUS one Right, so we'll use the mouse to go ahead and just throw down here real fast. As you can see, the game performs extremely well on the ASUS. And I got my mouse, and off it goes. So there you go. Hit the home button, boom, we're back on the main screen. You see how quick and fast the uh, ASUS transformer is, it's gorgeous. Alright, so we'll take a look at something else, like say, um, a read uh, an HD um, Google Reader type deal, right? You can see I've got the mouse wheel going. Mouse wheel scrolls just like you would expect it to. Clicking on an item brings it up. Go to original. It'll launch the browser, and of course you have full the full browser with the mouse. Let's see if I can readjust a little bit. Good slow but sure here alright and then you can do your standard browsing alright as you can see scrolling will move it up and down the one thing you can't really do with the mouse is to zoom in and out but of course you can just reach up to the screen. There's a lot of flash on this page. So you can still do your shrinking and growing and then go back to your grab the screen and scroll back and forth, etc, etc. Right. I must have clicked on something. Alright, so we go to Google here. Now let's hit the keyboard up. Much better. Go search images. Just kind of give you a feel here. Search for me. Oops. Type ahead must have got caught there. And there's pictures of my ugly mug. Of course, you can click on one. So this all works. This all works uh, just like you'd expect a laptop to. So it's fantastic. All right. Anyway, um, hit another site. Hey, 
you see CNN comes up just fine nice and quick and of course your context menus and whatnot you can always use the mouse for you can always use, you can also use the mouse for your recent apps and your mouse wheel will scroll through them fantabulous angry birds is still running the right mouse button acts as a back as if the back button yeah, I'm trying to remember how to get out of here now menu and back out yes alright and again as you see hop right back to our browser everything's super great All right, and again, of course, since we have Flash available, let's see if uh, CNN will actually load. Never actually tried CNN on here. Not super swift, but that's Flash for you. Yeah, at least you have the opportunity to watch it, even if it's fat. This. Yeah, great. We get to watch an ad. All right. So that's kind of the browser. We can go to YouTube. Same deal. Everything's mouse driven. It's fantabulous. Again, you have access to all your stuff, your notifications, etc., etc. Here's YouTube. Hey, now. Yeah. All right. So back out of there. We we'll hit home. If you start typing on the keyboard, it'll just start searching your system. So if I wanted to look for Angry Birds, just start typing Angry, and uh, I'll get a list of things. Of course, I didn't spell Angry right, but it did. Google was very helpful in trying to suggest that I spell it correctly. There we go, and you'll notice it not only did a textual search online, but it also gave me my apps as well. So that's kind of cool. Right. So anyway, that's just a quick look at um, using the mouse and the keyboard. Um, you know, I haven't tried, uh, let me see, just for fun. I haven't tried actually using the multimedia controls to control music. So let me see here. see how well this works and uh, let's see how much crap am I gonna get pitched for the music I have probably a lot all right now this is interesting something to note the scroller wheel does not work in here everyone likes Van Halen though all right let's get that started if I let it play too long my video will get flagged so let's see does skip ahead work Oh, backward. Um, play. Oh, it tried to launch my default music player, which is this uh, Zia thing. That can be fixed, but I'll have to. I'd actually have to go through and do that. But it's interesting. The media keys are definitely mapped. What do these things do? Any sort of cool things with the function keys? I hit mail. What did that do? Nothing. Home, maybe. Let me see. No. Okay, well, no special uh, controls there. But, you know, never hurts to look. Oh, the home button actually does something. Does this go right and left? No. Close, maybe? Let me see here. Let me launch something like Astro. Hit close. And back. Oh, so the back key actually is back to map. So we have home and we have back. And I don't know if we have a recent apps here or not. I'm gonna hold one of these guys down. Although I did make a posting about that. 
So anyway, looks like you do get some automatic mapping of some of the keyboard stuff right to the um, transformer. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the look using the mouse and keyboard on the transformer. This is Shane R. Monroe with Review Lagoon. We'll see you next time.